John here. Electricians need to know. Electricians need to know about split bolt connectors. Now split bolt connectors have been around a very long time. Uh, they called them Brundies uh, back in the 60s because a company called Brundy made them. Now Brundy still makes them. I think they made this one uh, here. Uh, and a lot of other manufacturers make them also. But Brundy has been around for a long time, and I kind of like Brundy. You know, once you, once you get stuck with a product, you kind of stay with a product. Now, they make them about the size of your fist, or a little bigger. Uh, over the years, I've troubleshot a few and found that they disintegrated, uh, probably because they weren't put together really good in the first place. And you say, well, we put those things together as tight as we possibly can. Well, you probably did. but. When you put two wires in there and tighten it up, that that fi fills this with oxi oxidized uh, material. So the first thing you want to do is open it up. You want to take a wisp. Uh, this is a 4,000. It may be a 2. And polish the insides of this guy just a little bit. Woo! That helps. Polish those guys up. Now the, the cap is uh, too diagonal a little bit, so I took some scissors and I uh, cut that swipe in two, made it really narrow, so I can get, now these swipes are the same thing on both sides, so you can get in there and get those caps and get the bottom armature. Sit, sit right in there. Now, these things are made so you can't put a lot of pressure on them uh, on purpose because you don't want to reconfigure the surface. You just want to take the oxidation off. Okay, now we make a grease. Now that we got that cleaned up a little bit. We make a grease uh, at buskit.com. Uh, this is of 0.4 ounces. Uh, this is good for about 10 panels, rebuilding panel. That's that's breaker grease. That's for buses and, and breaker connections. We can use them for deoxidizing a connection also. So, uh, breaker grease, we can use a little brush and take our wire, coat the wire. Now you know about aluminum wire married to copper wire and you always put no locks on it uh, to cut the electrolysis down. Now two dissimilar metals is a thermocouple. If you put them together and heat it, it conducts. Okay, you get that you get a plating action because of it, and that's why uh, copper to aluminum fail because of that plating action. Well, in AC, uh, even though they're both copper, you still get this uh, electrolysis between the two, but you get it in both. You take some material here and dump it in over there and back and, back and forth over the years creates uh, uh, creates oxidation in, inside the metal. It, it makes hard spots, it makes non-conductive spots, it, it gives the connection a uh, problem. So now that you've greased it, you put stick your connector in there or your wire in the connector. Now make sure you don't get any insulation in that. Now screw it up nice and tight. That'll marry the greased surfaces together. Okay, now this is very important always use an end wrench. Uh, now, I was a roller coaster expert for a long time. And do you think I would let a machinist work on a roller coaster or anybody else work on a roller coaster uh, with a um, an adjustable wrench? No, we don't allow that. So anyway, it's kind of uh, hard to do down here on a desk. <laughs> so anyway, there we go. 
Now make sure you don't get the insulation in this connector. Ah, uh, there we go. Now getting a little tighter. Okay, now on a maintenance bench or something or out in the field, you can kind of get them a little rougher. You can get them tight. Okay, so there's our connection. We've got it pretty solid. We squeeze the grease in there, which takes out the oxygen in there. And now all we need to do is uh, lock it down. Uh, and I didn't from this from this vantage point. It's a little difficult to do. So now we need to take 33, Scotch 33, and tape this connection. Then we need to take Scotch 130C and tape it over the 33 with the 130C. That kind of waterproofs it and gives it a little cushion uh, so you can bang it around a little bit. So after you get the 130C on it, then you go back over it with 130 or with 33 uh, again. And that uh, gives you a really good cushion in case this is banging around inside a motor or someplace. So anyway, that's the way we put a split bolt connector together. We take the oxygen out of it, we squeeze it down with end wrenches, and uh, hopefully this will last forever. Um, let's hope. So, and okay, uh, we make uh, the swipes and we have a few bus kits and a few other products, grease, things that you might need at uh, buskit.com or Shook Electric. They both go to the same location. Uh, well, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment or if you have any questions, uh, leave me a question or two and we'll get back to you. We'll uh, answer them online. Thanks. Bye.